Hello and welcome. My name is Krishna and I will be your instructor for Universal Digital Power Supply Circuit. I want to thank you for joining. Please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon in order to get notification of every new project that we will post in near future. Let's get started. So what is Universal Power Supply? It is a power supply unit which provides almost all standard power supply that required in electronics or required in digital electronics. And how is that if we combine universal power supply and digital control technology? Here you will learn about how to design universal power supply circuit with the facility of digital control. As you can see here, this universal digital power supply provides a variable fluctuation free and regulated output of 1.5 volt, 3 volt, 4.5 volt, 5 volt, 6 volt, 7.5 volt, 9 volt, 10.5 volt, 12 volt DC positive and negative 12 volt. So let's see how you can design your own universal digital power supply. The entire circuit of universal digital power supply is divided into three main sections. Bridge rectifier and filter unit, digital control unit and variable power supply unit. The bridge rectifier and filter circuit is designed using one center tap 909 transformer for general purpose rectifier diode as you can see here for ceramic capacitor as you can see here two electrolytic capacitor and a lead with current lim limiting resistor in order to indicate whether power is available to this board or not the input ac of 220 volt is stepped down by using transformer 9 volt 0 volt 9 volt that is center tap transformer 1 ampere secondary the step down voltage is rectified using bridge rectifier as you can see here built using diode d1 d2 d3 and d4 these four parallel coordinated capacitor that is c1 c2 c3 c4 is used here for bypass spikes and provide smooth and function free power for smoothing the bridge rectifier output two electrolytic capacitor each of 1000 microfarad that is c5 and C13 is used. Here you can get positive and negative power supply. A LED. LED 1 is connected with current limiting resistor to indicate power is available to the board. The second section is for power supply unit. The power supply unit is further divided into two different sections. One negative fixed 12 volt power supply section and second is variable voltage power supply section. This is negative free. is fixed three terminal negative regulator which produced negative or minus 12 volt DC. At first let's see how the variable regulator IC LM370 works. This LM317 is a three terminal positive voltage regulator which can be operated with the output voltage at any setting over the range of 1.2 volt to 57 volt. Here the resistor R1 and this variable resistor R2 set the output of any desired voltage over the adjustment range from this 1.2 volt to 57 volt. Output voltage can be obtained by using formula B out is equal to B reference that is reference voltage between this output and this terminal into 1 plus R2 by R1 plus I adjustment current into R2 where we know that this variable reference voltage is 1.25 this BRF is the voltage between this output and this, this terminal, this adjustment terminal. 
However, the current, this I adjustment current is very small in the range of that is I is equal to in the range of micro ampere, 100 micro ampere and is constant. So the voltage drop across R2, this R2 due to this I adjustment is also very small and can be neglected. So the final formula of this B out can be written as B wave 1 plus R2 by R1. The current set register that is this R1 register is usually 240 ohm as if you cannot find this R1 is equal to 240 ohm then use the nearest one here in this circuit we are using R1 is equal to this value is equal to 220 ohm if you see the formula this V ref is constant this one is constant the only two value are variable is R2 and R1 as R1 is typically set to 240 ohm then the only variable resistance or only variable value is R2 thus we can write as V out is directly proportion to R2 the value of R2 determine the value of V out if we increase the value of R2 the value of this V out also increase and if we decrease the value of R2 the value of this V out is also decrease so the basic principle is by having this resistor this R2 resistor output voltage can be varied here in this universal digital power supply we are varying this variable resistor by switching different transistor as you see in circuit diagram now let's see the digital control unit here timer IC 555 that is IC1 is wired as a stable multi vibrator and generate clock pulse this IC1 generate clock pulse when this switch SW2 is pressed. This SW switch is also referred as voltage selector. Now the output of IC1 from pin 3 is given to clock pin that is pin 14 of IC2 through RC network built using resistor R3, R5 and capacitor C8. Here IC2 is decayed counter or decayed ring counter and utilize all the output switch SW3. IC2 is decayed ring counter and it have 10 outputs named from Q0 to Q9. This IC2 all the output from Q0 to Q9 is connected to the base of transistor T1 to T10 through resistor R6 to R15. For voltage selection, 9 different preset or variable resistor BR1 through BR9 is connected to the collector of 9 different transistor ranging from T2 to T10. LED 3 to LED 11 is used to indicate different voltage where LED 3 is used to indicate 1.5 volt, LED 4 is used to indicate 3 volt, LED 5 is used to indicate 4.5 volt LED 6 is used to indicate 5 volt similarly then this is 6 volt and then 7.5 volt and then 9 volt and then 10.5 volt and then 12 volt as you can see the wiper and one fixed terminal of all variable resistor is sorted together and is connected to the adjustment pin of this variable voltage. As you can see here, this pin is connected to here, point A. Now let's see the working of the circuit. Initially, the output of this decayed ring counter, Q0, is high. As a result, T1 start to conduct. As you can see this point A is connected to the adjustment pin or adjustment terminal of this IC4. Now when so, this SW2 or voltage selector switch is pressed then the output Q0 become low and Q1 become high. As a result transistor T2 start to conduct by glowing LED LED3. 
at this time the resistance between its adjustment pin and ground become the value of this br1 similarly when this sw2 or voltage selector, selector switch is pressed again then output of q1 become low and output of q2 become high as a result p3 start to conduct and the resistance between its adjust adjustment terminal and ground terminal is equivalent to the value of this br2 in this way one can vary the value of this br set every time when we press this voltage selector switch the output of this decade ring counter shifted from q0 to q9 respectively after that q9 it again the output is again shifted to q0 as this ic is decade ring counter so with the help of this control circuit we can select the value of this r2 by switching the output of this decade counter at one time only one transistor is activated thus the resistance between this point a or reference point and ground is fixed that is the value of this variable resistor you can download this circuit from bestengineeringprojects.com the link is given in description section there from there you can download pcb diagram download the pcb from bestengineeringprojects.com the link is given in description section there you will get solar side pcb component side pcb and 3d design after making pcb connect all the component here as you can see and then connect 9091 ampere transformer that is center tap transformer to this input terminal nine volt is connected to one end of this terminal and this zero volt is connected to this center one and then another nine volt terminal is connected to this after connecting all the component and this transformer it's time to calibrate this preset or this variable resistor for that connect a multimeter as you can see here connect a multimeter with a range of 20 volt to the output Now, switch on the power supply. As you can see this, the glowing LED, this red glowing LED indicate that power is available to the board. This glowing yellow LED indicate negative power supply is obtained at this third terminal and this ground. And the glowing, this green LED indicate the power. After that, connect the two switch one for voltage selector and another for reset this decade counter ic i'm going to reset this as you can see by pressing this switch this decade counter will be reset and you will see 1.27 volt which is close to 1.25 volt when i press this voltage selector switch then this LED one start to glow indicate this LED one indicate 1.5 voltage by adjusting this if your multimeter does not show this 1.5 volt then adjust this variable resistor as you can see here so this glowing LED indicate 1.5 volt. Similarly, again press the voltage selector switch. 
this second led will glow and this multimeter show approximately 3 volt you can adjust according to your requirement so this second will be 3 volt and again i will press this voltage selector switch and the voltage output is around 4.5 volt and again i will press this and the voltage will be 5 volt and again i will press against i will press this and the voltage will be 5 volt see as you can see here i have to adjust this reset and again i will press this voltage selector switch and the voltage will be 6 volt as you can see here I have again I this adjust this and it will increase 7.5 volts. In order to get accurate this is for 5 volts. This is for 9 volts. And again I will press this voltage selector switch and it will next give 10.7 5 voltages This is for 7.5 voltages In this way you can select the voltage and the last one This is for is 9 voltages In this way you can select the voltage output after this calibration, put this board into a box, well seeded box, and the output, and you will get output from this terminal. This is for variable digital power supply from one point, and the next twelve volt. One is for, this is for ten point minus twelve volt, and this middle is for ground. Let's see the voltage at this ground and negative terminal. For that, I am going to connect positive terminal to the ground pin and this negative or COM port of this multimeter to negative 12 volt supply. And you can see the voltage so 12 volt because this ground terminal is connected to the positive prop that is red prop and the negative terminal is connected to the negative prop if we swipe this multimeter prop then you will get minus 12 voltage now let's see the output 1.5 volt 3 volt 4.5 volt it's a 5 volt 6 volt 7.5 volt 9 volt 10.5 volt and 12 volt and if you again press the switch then the output will be 1.28 volt by using this reset switch one can reset this decade counter thank you thank you for watching this video in this way you can make your own this universe digital power supply unit and by using voltage selector switch one can select the output voltage